Alright, action here everyone. And I'm going to show you the odds and ends of the walls. Your friends call you up, they want you to play, uh, you, you know you're gonna win anyway, but you know you just wanna make sure you have some, uh, some strategy under the belt, you know, you kinda know what you wanna do. So, this is, this is what this video is for. I'm gonna try to keep it short, just for, uh, just for quick pur purposes. Okay, basically, you're gonna want to, if you start down here, okay, there's four quadrants, I like to name them as clock wire, um, clock, because it doesn't have the wire, um, this doesn't have anything, so you, I would just call it nothing, and this is the waiting room quadrant. The best quadrant by far, I would have to say, would be clock wire, would, because it happens to have iron close to the surface. And this is the one I'm most familiar with, because I this was the one I've been mostly been playing on. So as soon as you start, if you have a partner or not, hopefully you'll have, you'll have a partner. You're going to want to run, and you're going to want to collect wood and food for the long haul. Uh, that's that's number one. Don't bother with a crafting table. Don't bother with any t wood wood tools besides a uh, wooden pickaxe to get stone. You're going to want all stone tools. No no wooden tools, it's just a big waste of time. Okay, first thing you want to do before you get anywhere to do anything is there's a chest up here with five co cobwebs in it and you want to nick that. That will give you string to make bows and stuff if you just put it down the ground and break it. And there's another chest over here with your TNT and your arrows. Arrows you can put in the dispensers and you can shoot people into the lava. It's a good trap. And that, I'm pretty sure, is all the chests that they give you. And this, this is going to be your little home base. This is a crafting table, that's why I told you not to make it. This is a chest full of all a bunch of stuff that you can all use. You can make a farm, even. And you get an enchanted table, you just have to break that down. Alright. Iron is found right here. So, this is pretty good. I usually like to get this iron and then go, I like to go dig down this way. And build traps down here. But, this is, this is this quadrant. Alright, if you somehow ended up with waiting room, like looking down you just see the waiting room and the wires over there. Um, this is, this is fine. You're gonna want to run up. Your chest is right here. Uh, the, the one chest is always in the water. There's always one pond, so there's your, there's your TNT chest. You're gonna want to go down here. And here's your enchanted table. I'm not sure. Yeah, see, always. I'm pretty sure it's always in this corner you're going to find iron. So here's your iron in this stair right down here if you are in the waiting room quadrant all right let's go to the nothing quadrant or the void quadrant as i like to call it or any quadrant this is pretty much mirrored to the first one so you go down it's on the same side see break this here it is you go over here, and here's your iron, sure enough. Your chest is right here. This is a mirror to this, to the... What was it called? <laughs> I forgot. It's a mirror to the clock wire. And this is a mirror to waiting room. So, just in case you want me to still show you, your enchantment table is always going to be behind this weird stuff this cracked cobblestone and then it's going to be on this right here that's going to be your first iron all right okay that's that's four quadrants down okay so a good a good strategy would be 
this this by far is a trap that not a lot of people suspect because when push comes to shove when times get hard in the walls nobody does anything literally about 75 percent of the time everyone is going to stay and panic in their little homes except for one crazy group that has full iron armor which you swear they hacked um so before that one group comes and you know that one like let's say they're all hiding down here and they made a little kind of staircase down and they're hiding down there they have a farm and whatnot when they when they come back up the bedrock that's the side of the arena doesn't work when they come back up the good strategy would be to take your two tnt that you get and just take one just take one and you get a pressure plate this is the simplest trap in all of minecraft tnt with a pressure plate see to get back up they literally have to keep jumping and they're not going to be paying attention at all because they're keep, they're going to keep looking up like this all right so you're just going to want to break this put tnt you gotta break this down twice put tnt and then you gotta put a stone see it looks all normal and then you're gonna put a pressure plate Stone pressure plates are extremely hard to tell apart from the regular stone floor. See, just looking at that, you can't even tell without me highlighting it. But another trap, let's say, let's say you tried all your TNG traps, and it didn't exactly work. And so you've lured them down into a cave, and you want to make it look like they're just going to fall. I like to use this in Pocket Edition, because their TNT, you know, is kind of hard to come by. So... Let's say you just have this. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go this way. And then you're gonna wanna make it look... God dang it, I can't find a space that's not... Okay, let's go this way. You're gonna wanna make it look like it's a step down. So if you keep going down, like this... And then... You're gonna want this down here. See, you wanna make it like dark, so they can't really see. You're gonna put a stone right here. And you're gonna break that. So it just looks like, oh, I'm gonna fall, and I'm gonna... So it's gonna go like this. And so you're gonna wanna break this all the way down. And so, what happens is, they see you, and they're gonna, they're gonna go run down, and then they're gonna fall. It's the easy... It's one of the easiest traps to do. And it requires literally no materials, which is what I like about it. It actually gives you materials, so it costs negative materials. Alright, another good strategy is to build a little home. This can be moved out of any block, it's kind of like a decoy hole. So you just want to make like a little, you know, block, whatever. This hill, you know, is very popular. God dang it, slash clear weather. Okay, dang it. I thought it's class slash weather clear all right now go 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 you build this up just pretend it has walls use imagination all right now a cool thing to do is you want to make wood floors this all right wood just you know any old oak Let's just build up the top so it actually looks like a kind of house. Alright, so they're going to walk in to the door. And you're not going to want to put a... You, you know, it's kind of smart to put a pressure plate, like, right here. Actually, like, if you put, like, a stone pressure plate, there's are going to think it's going to activate, like, a door. So, like, if you keep walking in and out of it. So you're going to want to make a decoy crafting table. And you're also going to want to make a decoy furnace. And also, if you really want to get them, you stick a chest back here. This is the best. So you, stick a, you want to stick a chest like visible in the doorway. A crafting table. And a furnace. 
and then when they see it, they're going to come running up here. They're going to assume this pressure plate activates a door. So let's get a door up here. So they're going to see this and be like, oh, it just activates a door. But then, <laughs> another simplest trap in the game. Nobody ever expects it because it's such so newbie. TNT. Actually, you go to put, put block down. Wood. Pressure plate. Then it goes off. It's actually stepped on. So, my bad. Boom. See, look. Down a player, and you still keep your chest. So even though... And they... Some people might actually get around this. I haven't... This house might not have been wide enough. But if they stand here, they could get the chest. Make sure your house is wide enough so they can't reach the chest from beyond the doorway. That's going to be your main goal. So, this was Riction. This is a uh, rundown of the walls. Check out my other videos. Like, subscribe, comment if you want more tips and more advanced traps for this map. And thanks for watching. <laughs> oh god. Okay, well this is a horrible, horrible ending. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, slap a grandma. Do what you gotta do. Um, and get some redstone. And da 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 da. Da 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 da. This is, yep, this is Rickson signing off, and goodbye.